Have you ever found yourself caught in the whirlwind of life, searching desperately for a sense of inner peace amidst the chaos and uncertainty of the world? Have you ever longed to unlock the secrets of enlightenment and discover a profound sense of tranquility that transcends the limitations of the human experience? If so, then this video is for you. Join us on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment as we delve deep into the timeless wisdom of Zen philosophy. Through captivating storytelling and profound insights, we will explore the path to inner peace and unlock the secrets of mindful living. But beware, for the journey ahead is not merely a passive viewing experience. It is a transformative odyssey that will challenge your perceptions, ignite your spirit, and awaken you to the infinite possibilities that lie within. So if you're ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery and unlock the secrets of inner peace, sit back, relax, and prepare to be inspired. But remember, true wisdom awaits those who dare to journey to the very end. Before we begin, I would appreciate it. If you like the video, you can help me continue spreading the teachings of Buddhist and Zen stories. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you subscribe and activate the bell to avoid missing any videos. As we embark on the journey of exploring those lessons, Kindly comment below with the corresponding lesson number if you find these teachings helpful. Now let's begin. In the heart of a tranquil village nestled between verdant mountains and glistening streams, there lived a humble monk named Takeshi. He was known throughout the land for his serene countenance and his unwavering commitment to the path of Zen. Takeshi's days were spent in quiet contemplation, seeking to unravel the mysteries of existence and find inner peace amidst the chaos of the world. As the sun ascended gracefully over the horizon, casting its warm embrace upon the waking world, Takeshi's spirit stirred with a quiet longing for solace amidst the bustling rhythms of life. With a serene determination, he set forth into the forest, a sanctuary of whispers and shadows where the ancient trees whispered secrets of time long past. Each step he took seemed to echo with the rhythm of the earth's heartbeat, grounding him in the present moment. The crisp air filled his lungs, carrying with it the scent of fallen leaves and dew-kiss petals. With each inhalation, Takeshi felt the weight of the world lifting from his shoulders, replaced by a sense of calm anticipation. As he wandered deeper into the heart of the forest, the verdant canopy overhead enveloped him in a tapestry of dappled light and shadow. His mind wandered freely, exploring the labyrinthine corridors of thought and reflection. Questions danced like fireflies in the recesses of his consciousness, each one a beacon beckoning him toward a deeper understanding of existence and the elusive pursuit of enlightenment. After what seemed like an eternity of wandering, Takeshi stumbled upon a tranquil clearing bathed in the gentle glow of the morning sun. There, amidst a sea of emerald grass and wildflowers, stood a solitary cherry blossom tree, its branches reaching towards the heavens like outstretched arms. The tree's delicate pink blossoms swayed in the breeze their ethereal beauty casting a spell of enchantment upon the forest floor. Takeshi felt drawn to the tree as if guided by an unseen force, drawn towards the ancient wisdom that lay dormant within its gnarled branches. Seating himself beneath the shade of the cherry blossom tree, Takeshi closed his eyes and surrendered himself to the embrace of silence. With each breath, he felt the boundaries of his consciousness expand, dissolving into the infinite expanse of the universe. Time ceased to exist as he delved deeper into the recesses of his mind, peeling back the layers of ego and illusion that obscured his true nature. Hours passed in timeless reverie as Takeshi sat in silent communion with the tree, his mind as clear and tranquil as the surface of a still pond. In that sacred space, he felt a profound sense of interconnectedness with all of creation, a realization that transcended the boundaries of self and others. Suddenly, a gentle voice pierced the veil of silence, jolting Takeshi from his meditative reverie. Opening his eyes, he beheld a vision of grace and curiosity standing before him. A young woman named Mei, her eyes sparkling with wonder and awe. Intrigued by Takeshi's serene countenance, Mei approached him with a sense of reverence, drawn towards the palpable aura of peace that surrounded him like a halo. With a shy smile, she introduced herself and expressed her earnest desire to find inner peace amidst the chaos of the world. Takeshi returned her smile with a gentle nod, inviting her to join him beneath the cherry blossom tree. As they sat together in companionable silence, Takeshi began to weave a tapestry of wisdom and insight, 
painting a vivid portrait of the journey toward inner peace and self-discovery. Long ago, Takeshi began, his voice a whisper carried on the breeze. There lived a great Zen master whose heart burned with a fervent desire to attain enlightenment. Despite his tireless efforts, he found himself ensnared in the tangled web of his thoughts and desires, unable to find solace amidst the chaos of the world. In his quest for answers, the Zen master embarked on a pilgrimage to seek the guidance of a renowned sage who dwelled atop a distant mountain. With each step, he felt the weight of his burdens lifting from his shoulders, replaced by a sense of purpose and determination. At last, he reached the summit of the mountain, where the sage awaited him beneath the shade of a towering cedar tree. With a humble heart, the Zen master approached the sage and posed his question. How can I find inner peace amidst the turmoil of the world? The sage smiled knowingly, his eyes twinkling with ancient wisdom. Do you see the clouds that drift across the sky? He asked, gesturing towards the vast expanse of blue above them. They are like the thoughts that cloud your mind, transient and fleeting. Rather than trying to chase away the clouds, the sage continued, simply observe them as they come and go. In doing so, you will come to realize that beyond the clouds lies the boundless expanse of sky, ever present and unchanging. As the Zen master listened to the sage's words, a sense of clarity washed over him like a gentle rain, cleansing his mind of doubt and confusion. He realized that true inner peace could not be found by seeking it outside of himself, but by turning inward and embracing the present moment with open arms. With this newfound insight, the Zen master returned to his monastery, where he devoted himself wholeheartedly to the practice of mindfulness and meditation. With each passing day, he came to understand that inner peace was not a destination to be reached, but a journey to be embraced with an open heart. As Takeshi concluded his tale, May sat in rapt attention, her heart aflutter with the wisdom he had shared. With a deep bow of gratitude, she thanked Takeshi for his guidance and set forth on her journey towards self-discovery and enlightenment, carrying his words of wisdom with her like precious jewels. And so, Takeshi said with a serene smile, the secret to discovering inner peace lies not in the pursuit of external pleasures or distractions, but in the quietude of our hearts. May you find the peace you seek, dear traveler, within the depths of your being. With a sense of profound gratitude and reverence, May bid Takeshi farewell and ventured forth into the forest, her spirit buoyed by the promise of a brighter tomorrow. And as the cherry blossom tree swayed gently in the breeze, it whispered a timeless truth to all who passed beneath its ancient branches. True peace can only be found within. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number one below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. As Takeshi sat beneath the cherry blossom tree, his mind attuned to the rhythmic rustle of leaves and the distant melody of birdsong, he delved deeper into the recesses of his consciousness. With each passing moment, he felt a profound sense of connection to the natural world around him, as if the very essence of existence was whispering secrets only he could decipher. Lost in the tranquility of his meditation, Takeshi found himself drifting through the corridors of time, retracing the footsteps of ancient sages and wise masters who had walked the path of enlightenment before him. Their teachings echoed in the depths of his soul, guiding him toward a deeper understanding of the universe and his place within it. As the sun began its descent towards the horizon, casting a warm golden hue upon the forest canopy, Takeshi felt a gentle presence approach from beyond the veil of his meditation. Opening his eyes, he beheld a vision of serenity incarnate, a young woman with eyes like pools of liquid amber, her aura radiating with a quiet intensity that mirrored his inner peace. Introducing herself as May, a nomadic seeker of truth and tranquility, the young woman shared her tale of wanderlust in the eternal quest for inner harmony. Enchanted by Takeshi's serene countenance and the palpable energy that permeated the air around him, May found herself drawn to the monk like a moth to a flame, compelled to unravel the mysteries of existence in his presence. With a gentle smile, Takeshi motioned for May to join him beneath the sheltering branches of the cherry blossom tree, where they sat in companionable silence, bathed in the soft, rosy glow of twilight. As the world around them faded into stillness, Takeshi began to weave a tapestry of wisdom and enlightenment, 
recounting the timeless parables and profound insights passed down through generations of Zen masters and mystics. Long ago, Takeshi began, his voice a soothing melody that seemed to resonate with the very essence of creation. There lived a great Zen master whose name has long since faded into the annals of history. Like you and I, he too was a seeker of inner peace, tirelessly striving to transcend the limitations of the human condition and attain enlightenment. Despite his unwavering devotion to the path of Zen, the master found himself ensnared in the tangled web of his thoughts and emotions, buffeted by the tumultuous currents of desire and doubt that swept through his consciousness like a raging river. Try as he might, he could not quiet the restless chatter of his mind, nor find solace amidst the chaos of the world. Desperate for guidance, the Zen master embarked on a pilgrimage to the farthest reaches of the earth, seeking out sages and mystics renowned for their wisdom and insight. From the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas to the sun-kissed shores of distant islands, he wandered in search of the elusive secret to inner peace. But no matter where he went or how far he traveled, the answer always seemed to elude him, slipping through his fingers like grains of sand. It was only when he returned to the monastery of his youth, weary and disheartened, that he finally understood the true nature of enlightenment. And what was that, dear Takeshi? May interjected her voice, a gentle melody that danced upon the evening breeze. It was then, Takeshi replied, his eyes alight with the fire of revelation, that the Zen master realized that true inner peace could not be found in the external world, nor the teachings of others, but within the depths of his being. As you utter these sacred words, trust that divine intervention is at work. Just as scripture reassures us, I will go ahead of you, making the crooked places straight, breaking the bronze doors, shattering the iron bars. I will give you hidden treasures and riches stored in secret places, so you may know that I am the Lord. In the realm of spiritual warfare, every word uttered holds significance. By affirming your faith and invoking the divine through prayer, you establish a profound connection with the Almighty. In the comments section below, affirm your faith by sharing your first name followed by the declaration, The Lord is my shepherd. This act not only strengthens your own resolve, but also lends authority to the workings of God in the spiritual realm. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. Through this platform, we offer guidance and support on your spiritual journey free of charge. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number two below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Finally, after days of arduous travel, the Zen master arrived at the base of a towering mountain, its peaks shrouded in mist and mystery. With each step upwards, he felt a sense of anticipation building within him, as if he was drawing closer to the answers he so desperately sought. As he ascended the steep slopes, the air grew thinner and colder, the biting wind carrying with it the whispers of ancient wisdom and timeless truths. At long last, the Zen master reached the summit, where a solitary figure sat beneath the gnarled branches of a majestic cedar tree, his form illuminated by the soft, golden light of the setting sun. Approaching the sage with reverence and humility, the Zen master bowed low before him, his heart filled with a mixture of awe and trepidation. With a voice trembling with emotion, he posed the question that had weighed heavily upon his soul for so long. How can I find inner peace amidst the turmoil of the world? The sage regarded the Zen master with eyes that seemed to penetrate to the very depths of his being, his expression one of serene understanding. With a gentle smile, he gestured towards the vast expanse of sky above them, where wisps of clouds drifted lazily across the horizon. Do you see the clouds that drift across the heavens? The sage asked, his voice like a gentle breeze that stirred the leaves of the cedar tree. They are like the thoughts that cloud your mind, fleeting, and impermanent. The Zen master nodded, his gaze fixed upon the shifting patterns of light and shadow that danced across the sky. But how can I find peace amid such turmoil? He asked, his voice filled with longing. Rather than trying to chase away the clouds, the sage replied, his tone gentle yet firm, simply observe them as they come and go. 
In doing so, you will come to realize that beyond the clouds lies the boundless expanse of sky, ever-present and unchanging. With these words, the sage fell silent, allowing the Zen master to contemplate their meaning in the quietude of his own heart. As he gazed up at the vast expanse of sky above him, the Zen master felt a sense of peace wash over him like a gentle tide, knowing that amidst the chaos and uncertainty of the world, there was a place of stillness and serenity that could always be found within. As the sage's words settled like gentle rain upon the parched earth of his mind, the Zen master felt a profound shift within his being. It was as if a veil had been lifted, revealing a world of boundless possibility and infinite potential. With each passing moment, he felt a sense of clarity wash over him, dissolving the barriers that had long separated him from the truth. In that moment of epiphany, the Zen master came to a profound realization. True inner peace could not be attained through the suppression or control of thoughts, but rather through their acceptance and understanding. Like a river flowing freely through the landscape of his consciousness, he learned to embrace each thought and emotion with compassion and grace, recognizing them not as obstacles to be overcome, but as guides leading him towards enlightenment. With this newfound wisdom burning brightly within his heart, the Zen master returned to his monastery, where he dedicated himself wholeheartedly to the practice of mindfulness. Each day he immersed himself in the teachings of the ancients, delving deeper into the mysteries of existence in the nature of the self. Through diligent practice and unwavering determination, he cultivated a sense of inner peace that transcended the chaos of the world around him, finding solace in the stillness of his being. As Takeshi concluded his tale, May sat in awe, her heart overflowing with gratitude for the wisdom he had shared. With a deep bow of thanks, she bid Takeshi farewell, knowing that his words would accompany her on her journey, lighting the path ahead like a beacon in the darkness. And so, Takeshi said with a smile that seemed to illuminate the very essence of his being, the secret to discovering inner peace lies not in searching for it outside ourselves, but in turning inward and embracing the present moment with open arms. May you find the peace you seek, dear traveler, within the depths of your own heart. With these parting words, May set forth into the world, her spirit buoyed by the knowledge that true peace resided, not in the external trappings of the world, but in the boundless depths of her being. And as she journeyed forth, she carried with her the timeless wisdom of Takeshi, knowing that no matter where her path may lead, she would always find solace in the embrace of the present moment. With each step May took, she felt as though she was shedding layers of burden accumulated over years of wandering in search of something she couldn't quite name. Takeshi's words resonated within her, echoing through the corridors of her soul and illuminating the path ahead with a clarity she had never known before. The forest, once a realm of uncertainty and mystery, now seemed to embrace her with open arms, welcoming her into its tranquil embrace. As she ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, May found herself enveloped in a symphony of sights and sounds that stirred her senses and ignited her spirit. Shafts of golden sunlight filtered through the dense canopy overhead, casting dappled patterns of light and shadow upon the forest floor. The air was alive with the melodious chirping of songbirds and the gentle rustle of leaves, creating a harmonious symphony that resonated with the rhythm of her own beating heart. With each passing moment, May felt herself drawn ever closer to the essence of true peace, a peace that transcended the tumult of the external world and resonated deep within the core of her being. It was a peace born not of external circumstances or fleeting moments of happiness, but of a profound acceptance of the present moment and an unwavering trust in the inherent goodness of life itself. As she walked, May found herself drawn to a solitary cherry blossom tree, standing tall and proud amidst a verdant glade. Its delicate pink blossoms swayed gently in the breeze, their petals fluttering like ethereal butterflies as they danced upon the air. May approached the tree with a sense of reverence, feeling as though she was in the presence of something sacred and timeless. Seating herself beneath the cherry blossom tree, May closed her eyes and allowed herself to be enveloped by the stillness of the forest. In the silence that followed, she felt a sense of peace wash over her a peace that transcended the boundaries of time and space, connecting her with the eternal essence of existence itself. 
And as she sat in quiet contemplation, the cherry blossom tree seemed to speak to her in whispers carried upon the breeze. It spoke of the impermanence of life and the fleeting nature of human existence, reminding her that true peace could only be found within the depths of her own heart. With a sense of profound gratitude and reverence, May bowed her head in silent acknowledgement of the tree's wisdom. And as she rose to her feet and continued on her journey, she carried with her the timeless truth that had been revealed beneath the cherry blossom tree, that true peace can only be found within, in the sacred sanctuary of one's soul. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment on number three below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. From the story of Takeshi and May, we can draw several valuable lessons. One, the importance of mindfulness, Takeshi's journey beneath the cherry blossom tree serves as a powerful testament to the transformative power of mindfulness. As he sat in silent contemplation, Takeshi's mind became a still pond, reflecting the beauty and tranquility of the forest around him. Each rustle of leaves and chirp of birdsong became a symphony of the present moment, drawing him ever deeper into a state of profound awareness. In today's fast-paced world, where distractions abound and the demands of modern life seem to never cease, the practice of mindfulness offers a sanctuary of peace and tranquility. By learning to attune our minds to the present moment, we can cultivate a deeper appreciation for life's simple pleasures and find solace amidst the chaos of daily life. Through mindfulness, we learn to quiet the incessant chatter of our minds and immerse ourselves fully in the richness of the here and now. We learn to savor each breath, each sensation, and each moment with a sense of wonder and gratitude that transcends the mundane. In doing so, we awaken to the beauty and interconnectedness of all things, finding peace and fulfillment in the simple act of being. Moreover, mindfulness is not merely a passive state of awareness, but a skill that can be cultivated and honed through dedicated practice. By incorporating mindfulness techniques into our daily lives, such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, and mindful movement. We can train our minds to be more present, more focused, and more attuned to the subtle rhythms of existence. Ultimately, the practice of mindfulness offers us a pathway to greater self-awareness, inner peace, and resilience in the face of life's inevitable challenges. It empowers us to navigate the complexities of the modern world with clarity and grace enabling us to live more fully and authentically in each moment. So let us heed the wisdom of Takeshi's journey and embrace the transformative power of mindfulness in our own lives, knowing that true peace is always within reach for those who are willing to open their hearts and minds to the beauty of the present moment. Two, seeking guidance. Takeshi's encounter with May reminds us of the importance of seeking guidance on our journey towards inner peace. Like the Zen master in Takeshi's tale, it's natural to feel lost or uncertain at times, especially when navigating the complexities of the inner landscape. However, it's important to recognize that seeking guidance is not a sign of weakness, but rather a courageous step towards self-discovery and growth. In the vast tapestry of human experience, countless paths lead towards inner peace and enlightenment. Whether it's through meditation, spiritual practices, or seeking advice from wise mentors, each individual's journey is unique and deeply personal. By reaching out for guidance, we open ourselves up to new perspectives and insights that can help illuminate the path ahead. Meditation, for example, serves as a powerful tool for self-reflection and introspection. Through the practice of mindfulness meditation, we learn to observe our thoughts and emotions with detachment, gaining clarity and understanding of the inner workings of our minds. Spiritual practices, such as prayer or rituals, offer a sacred space for communion with the divine and a source of solace in times of need. Moreover, seeking guidance from wise mentors or spiritual teachers can provide invaluable support and guidance on our journey toward inner peace. These individuals who have walked the path before us offer wisdom born of experience and a compassionate ear to listen to our struggles and aspirations. Their guidance can help us navigate the challenges of the spiritual path with grace and resilience, empowering us to overcome obstacles and awaken to our true potential. The journey towards inner peace is not one that we must undertake alone. By seeking guidance from trusted sources and opening ourselves up to the wisdom of others, 
we can find clarity, understanding, and support on our path towards self-discovery and enlightenment. So let us embrace the courage to seek guidance when needed, knowing that we are never truly alone on the journey towards inner peace. Three, embracing inner wisdom. Takashi's profound realization beneath the cherry blossom tree serves as a poignant reminder of the inherent wisdom that resides within each of us. In a world filled with noise and distraction, it's all too easy to lose sight of the quiet voice of intuition that speaks from the depths of our being. Yet as Takeshi discovered, true inner peace can only be found by turning inward and listening to the whispers of our hearts. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, we often seek external validation and guidance, looking to others for answers to life's most pressing questions. However, Takeshi's journey teaches us that the greatest wisdom lies not in the teachings of others, but in the stillness of our souls. By quieting the mind and cultivating a sense of inner stillness, we can tap into the wellspring of insight that flows freely within us, guiding us toward a more authentic and fulfilling existence. Self-reflection and introspection are powerful tools for accessing this inner wisdom. Through practices such as meditation, journaling, or simply taking quiet moments to pause and reflect, we create space for the voice of our intuition to be heard. In these moments of solitude, free from the distractions of the outside world, we can gain clarity and understanding of our deepest desires, aspirations, and fears. Moreover, embracing our inner wisdom allows us to align our actions with our truest selves, leading to a more authentic and harmonious way of being. When we listen to the guidance of our inner voice, we make decisions that are in alignment with our values and aspirations, leading to a sense of fulfillment and purpose that transcends external circumstances. Takashi's journey serves as a powerful reminder that true inner peace cannot be found in the external world, but only by turning inward and embracing the wisdom that lies within. By quieting the mind and listening to the whispers of our hearts, we can unlock the door to a more authentic and fulfilling existence, grounded in the timeless wisdom of our souls. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number four below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Four, the power of connection. May's serendipitous meeting with Takeshi beneath the cherry blossom tree serves as a profound testament to the transformative power of human connection. In a world often characterized by isolation and disconnection, their encounter reminds us of the profound impact that genuine connection can have on our lives. At its core, human connection is about more than just superficial interactions or fleeting encounters. It's about the deep and meaningful exchange of ideas, emotions, and experiences that enrich our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In May and Takashi's meeting, we see the profound impact that such connections can have on our journey toward inner peace and enlightenment. Through their shared conversation and companionship, May and Takeshi found solace and understanding in each other's presence. They shared their stories, struggles, and aspirations, creating a space for vulnerability and authenticity that allowed them to truly connect on a soul level. In doing so, they not only enriched their understanding, but also created opportunities for growth and mutual support. May's encounter with Takeshi also serves as a powerful reminder of the interconnected nature of all beings. In sharing their experiences and insights, they forged a bond that transcended the boundaries of time and space, uniting them in a shared journey towards self-discovery and enlightenment. Their connection serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration reminding us of the profound impact that genuine connection can have on our lives. Moreover, May and Takeshi's meeting underscores the importance of being open to the wisdom and perspectives of others. By listening with an open heart and mind, we create space for new ideas and insights to emerge, expanding our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In this way, human connection becomes a catalyst for growth and self-discovery, empowering us to become the best versions of ourselves. In today's increasingly interconnected world, it's easy to overlook the power of genuine human connection. Yet as May and Takeshi's encounter demonstrates, it is through these meaningful connections that we find solace, understanding, and support on our journey toward inner peace and enlightenment. So let us embrace the transformative power of connection, reaching out to others with open hearts and minds and forging bonds that enrich our lives and nourish our souls. 
5. The Journey Towards Enlightenment Takeshi's tale beneath the cherry blossom tree serves as a poignant reminder that the pursuit of inner peace is not a destination to be reached, but rather a lifelong journey of self-discovery and growth. In a world driven by instant gratification and the relentless pursuit of external validation, Takeshi's story reminds us of the importance of patience, perseverance, and an open heart on the path toward enlightenment. The journey towards inner peace is not always easy. It requires us to confront our deepest fears, insecurities, and doubts, and to navigate the complexities of existence with courage and resilience. Like Takeshi, we may find ourselves wandering through the wilderness of our minds, grappling with the turbulent currents of desire and doubt that threaten to sweep us off course. Yet it is precisely through these challenges that we grow and evolve, gaining a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. At its core, the journey toward enlightenment is about embracing the present moment with an open heart and a willingness to explore the depths of our being. It is about learning to quiet the restless chatter of our minds and to listen to the whispers of our hearts, guiding us toward a more authentic and fulfilling way of life. Incorporating the lessons of mindfulness, seeking guidance, embracing inner wisdom, and the power of connection into our lives can help us cultivate a deeper sense of peace, fulfillment, and connection with ourselves and the world around us. By practicing mindfulness, we learn to appreciate the beauty of the present moment and to find solace amidst the chaos of daily life. By seeking guidance from wise mentors and spiritual teachers, we gain valuable insights and support on our journey towards self-discovery and enlightenment. Moreover, by embracing our inner wisdom and forging meaningful connections with others, we create opportunities for growth and mutual support, enriching our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. And through it all, we come to understand that true inner peace is not something to be found outside of ourselves, but rather within the depths of our hearts. So let us embark on this journey towards enlightenment with courage and determination, knowing that each step we take brings us closer to the fulfillment and connection we seek. And may we find solace and inspiration in Takshi's tale as we navigate the complexities of existence with grace, wisdom, and an unwavering commitment to the pursuit of inner peace. As we draw near the end of our journey, I invite you to reflect on all that you have learned. Have you discovered the importance of mindfulness, seeking guidance, embracing inner wisdom, and the power of connection on your path toward inner peace and enlightenment? Now, I encourage you to take a moment to share one thing you have learned from this video and how you plan to incorporate it into your life. Your insights and reflections are valuable contributions to our collective journey toward growth and self-discovery. If you found this video insightful and inspiring, please leave your comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Together, Let's continue to explore the depths of our inner selves and cultivate a life filled with peace, fulfillment, and connection. Thank you for joining us on this journey.